Okay, uh, I've dragged all the uh, all the bits and pieces out of the ultrasonic cleaner, and uh, we're ready to put the carburetor back together. So if we can just zoom in on the carburetor here, and we'll start sliding everything back together. Come a bit closer. Okay, that should do it. Okay, so uh, we'll put the uh, the float and the uh, needle valve back in first. So um, I'm just going to hang that a bit fiddly. Okay, and put that back in like that. Let's go all on there and then put the pin back through okay that's got that in place and then we just need to uh, put the main jet back in it goes in there uh, there you go. okay as you can see these fingers are made for digging <laughs> There we go. Let's tighten that up. That's in. I'll just tighten that properly. And here we go. Now that's all that. We might as well put the uh, the float bowl back on. Now, when you're uh, when you there's a, a seal here and a kind of little bit where it engages. So it's kind of you want to make sure you've got that on there properly because if you don't get it lined up right and then you, when you do the bolt up you end up bending in the bottom of the uh, of the float bar okay there's a little nut make sure the little fiber washer is on it basically this drain screw lines up with the uh, with the fuel pipe so you know you got it the right way around just do that up like that find me 10 minutes on it and there it is and just nip that up. You don't have to put a bit of pipe on it or anything, just nip it is all you need. Okay, and then we'll put the uh, idle jet back in there. Simply enough, it just does up all the way until it bottoms out and then just nip it. And then the throttle stop screw. We'll pop that in, goes there. Now the thing about this throttle stop screw is it doesn't actually do a lot on this carburetor, in fact anything. But what you don't want is it for it to be poking through too far. So you just do up the throttle stop screw until you see the other end poke. Now let's see if I can manipulate this so you can see what I'm talking about. Right there, it's kind of difficult to show but you don't want that throttle stop screw screw to do anything so you just do it up until it pokes through the little webbing and just pokes out the other side a little bit but you don't want to wind it right in or it'll end up holding the throttle open and messing with everything so just basically in there a sort of a minimum amount now we've got the idle mixture screw and the deal with this is that we just do it up until it gently until you feel it bottom out and then you go back one and seven eighths turn. You don't need a protractor for this. It's just half a turn, one turn, another half a turn, quarter of a turn, a little bit more, and that is set correctly for the. Uh, so it's one and seven eighth turns. Uh, turns out or thereabouts. It's not that critical. Okay. Now we'll. Uh, I think there was a little pipe. Wasn't there? So there it is. We just uh, pop this little overflow pipe back on there for good measure. And uh, that's the that's the uh, the card put back together. Now while I've got it like this, I'll just show you because it's difficult when I do it on the machine. But this little plastic clip here is where, and if you look at it there, you can see the hole. The end of the sheath for the for the um, choke cable slots in there, just slides in there when we come to put the choke on. So that's just uh, that's just the sheath, and then the cable itself protrudes through, and slots into that choke um, lever there okay so having sorted 
all of that out in our own little way. We'll just uh, bring them in. If we can just zoom out a little bit, this is cameraman. That says, oh, 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 not too far. Come back in a bit. Uh, in a bit. In a bit more. A bit more. All right, that should that'll do. We'll, we'll have a go at that. And uh, so basically we, we, we need the um, the uh, governor arm and the linkage that I showed you earlier. Now what we're going to do, we're going to put that linkage in the top of the carb like that. doesn't matter at all which way around it goes or anything, it just goes in like that. And then we'll put the governor arm on it. And there, that's how it actually, that's how it sits on the machine, like that. Okay, so what we're going to do now, we've got all of that hooked, linked together, is just slide it all on, like this. Okay, because you can't get these linkages on once you've got everything in place. So then we'll just, we'll just push the, uh, just check there, that that little washer there, is in place and hasn't dropped out. There's a little washer that goes on the end of the on the shaft there, on the governor shaft, right? And then we just uh, right out again. Oh, lost the lost the arm. lost the linkage off the governor arm. So we'll have to try again. There we go. I think we got it this time. Okay, and we slide that on there like that. Slide the governor arm onto its shaft. And there we go, and that's that's good. Everything connected. Right. Next thing we'll do is we'll put the uh, the governor spring on. Now you see this changeover switch has a little mechanism attached to it there, and there's the little just here little lever with a hole in it that this governor spring goes into. So we feed that and it just hooks into that little hole and then into the hole in the governor arm and it pulls the governor arm that way. And the next thing we need to do is set the governor correctly. Now this, the end of this shaft, can we just um, zoom in a little bit? And a little bit more. And a little bit more. That'll do. Okay, now if you look on the end of this uh, governor shaft you'll see there's a, a flat on it, you can see me turning it, and there's a flat on there. Well, basically, what we need to do is get hold of that flat and turn it that way, okay? So, to the end of its movement, because it's got a little, not very much, not very much movement in it, and it's hard for me to see with my big hand in the way, but if I get it like that, you'll see it's just a, that much movement. So, we want to turn it clockwise as far as it will go, like that, then hold this arm over to the right as you see it, as far as it will go, and just do this clamp bolt up. And that has set the governor then, and you should find that when you move this governor arm now, the, uh, the shaft, the flat of the shaft, you can see moving.